it would be strange. Um, this is here for a reason. They say the state, they say you, you'll hear and you'll read about all the stuff. Some people get sick of watching everybody, so they go straight to the source. They go to a Husqvarna video or a still video. They want to see how Oregon King touched by the can on that. Hi, friends. How's everybody? So you guys know I broke my my axe, right? My 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 HB cruiser that I chopped down them them arbutus trees with. Friends, I'll tell you, I, I don't I don't know what someone's done some work to this. I've done a little bit, but but the the edge, the cutting edge on this on it it's it's scary, friends. Honestly, it's this thing. No wonder it cuts wood. Uh, it honestly, I don't know if I'll get you guys on it, but. It, it is it, it, look at the profile so thin look at hopefully that'll stay focused look at i can't believe it did why is that staying focused that's incredible look at what i'm talking about isn't that amazing friends it's, just, it's so sharp i can't believe that stayed focused that's so cool um so anyway this handle is so close to going on sometimes like 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 it's on right it goes on but sometimes it, it's not okay, worth friends. Using most of you remember. So how's everybody doing really today? Close. By the way, I hope you're I all well. Uh, Bo, I put I some. I got some video up done. coming up for you, Bo, for chain tension. By the way, right uh, regardless, hey friends, you, you guys know that that axe that I'm talking about right now in my hand, that HB, is my tree chopping down freaking axe. Okay, it's it's a two and a half pound HB. It's sharp as is all get out, but it had a thirty like like a 31 or two inch handle it was a longer handle now i'm struggling here i i'm struggling internally when i have it in my hands i put the 28 i'm i'm having that thing you know that gut feeling that this isn't this isn't right it's 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 not right uh because for what i use it for that extra length friends when you're chopping stuff i mean it's leverage it's that fast you're gonna get it going that much faster the rock and a sock um uh, effect is going to be intensified so i'm struggling with it we'll continue watching here friends but uh you'll, you'll see what happens here thanks a lot everybody for for, for watching along with us and, and carrying in on this this axe stuff we're having a blast with it over now Although it is going to be a mean tree chop, you'll still chop a mean tree with it. It's just that extra length was was nice, but we 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 can we can still cut with this. We we can still cut. We can still cut. It is it is glorious. I've got a twenty eight inch handle cruiser right here. Uh, where is that little bugger? There it is. There. It's not a tree chopper, mind you, but it is a heavier head, and actually that could be made into one. No. That's a split. That's a splitter. That's a wood splitter. That one. That's got a heavier head. That would that would chop. See, there it is, and and they are they're lovely. They're lovely. That's a Collins hat. Um, so I'm hesitant. I'm very hesitant actually. And I got another head here that I'm going to work into a tree chopping axe. It's uh, it says. It's two and a half pounds. It is two and a half pounds. I really want to make this ax right now, but am I making a mistake by putting this on at, at 28 inches? Probably not, probably not. But that 31 inches, that was a nice swinging ax. Let me see what I got. I'll be right back, I'll see if I got some. Friends, you're not gonna believe what I just found in the old drum back there, I keep my if I'm not mistaken, I, does anybody recognize this? This is a handle. I think it was either Blanchard. I, I'm actually not sure who it was, but you know what, friends? <laughs> it's the handle we can make work. It, it's got a big eye. It's for, it's for a it's for a full size axe, but we can, this is oak too, I think. And the grain orientation is 45, which doesn't matter on a small axe, but friends. I'm going to use this axe handle. I'm going to use it. It's it. I I, I don't want this on a. 
I don't want this on a small a on a small handle. It's my tree chopping, uh, and and I'll lose my swing. I, I don't. Twenty eight's great. It, it honestly, it, it's great, but this is too small. I don't have enough. I like that extra three four inches. 28, 29, 30, 31, a three inches extra swing. I know it doesn't sound like much. It's a lot in an ax. It is, it's a lot in an ax, friends. So I think I'm gonna do it. Oh no, I, I, I love that 31. This will be too small. I'm saving this out. I got other heads for this handle. Beautiful heads, actually. I'll show you one of them right now. So this is a full size axe handle, okay? So now I gotta make it to fit the cruiser handle. It's way, way small, okay? Yeah, it's good. So this will this will probably just drop on here now. There it goes. Okay, we're on. So, and and it's and it's beautiful actually. It, it's great. So that's good. So so that that'll have to come down a lot. This handle. Yeah. See, we're up. So there's our start. That's I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna like that way better. I can feel it already, friends. It was too small. The 28 was too small. Okay, I'm done for the night. Uh, well, I probably shouldn't be. I should probably keep going early. Oh, yeah. See, that's going to be... That's actually going to be glorious. Wow. Yeah, I'm starting to, it's starting to feel like it now. Yeah. Oh, that's, we're about an inch from the top, friends. <clears throat> wow. So this is where I, the draw knife upside down. That's, that's where I do that. Like backwards, you know what I mean? And I, and I shave with it. I pull wood. And uh, it works really, really well, actually. She's literally, uh, yeah, yeah, see, so it's, uh, it, I mean, it looks odd. I'm not done. I'm, I'm nowhere near done. I'm going to take it down um, to where it needs to be, but, but this is starting to feel better, friends, because of the length. I need the length. This will be a, a wild and crazy handle. It's going to be, it's homemade. Obviously, you can see it's all squared off in that. I honestly don't know. Uh, I, I guess it looks like oak, perhaps. So we're getting there, friends. We are getting there. All right. So you can see, it's going to be a crazy handle. You can see it, right? It's all squared off and stuff. It's light, too. It's not hickory. I think it's oak. There we go. So there, there's, there's on by hand, um, deadly square, like, like deadly square up and down. Be beautiful actually. And to be quite honest, we are, um, we, we, we could easily throw this down on the shoulder now and go for it. Okay. Straight up. Okay. See. It, this handle's really light. It might break. <laughs> but then we just got to haft it again, right? And how fun is that? Is when you knock it off, you can bust it up. I'm going to try something. We're going to try the other side. A 180. Always try a 180 flip, friends, when you're done. Geez, that, that goes down there nice, friends. Yeah, quite quite nice actually. Oh, see, this might be the better way to go. This is a nice axe head. Oh yeah, actually, I think this is it. It's 
just gonna give it yeah it is it that's that's the one right there yeah that's her Thirty-four inches long. Thirty-four. So it actually feels good, but I think right there, I think that needs to be cut off right there. Thirty-one, right where I said. Even thirty-two would be fine because that'll leave a little spot for a for a palm swell right there. That just that's where it, my hand. You can just you know what I mean. You pick up an axe, friends, and you just your hands go to a certain place. They just do. This is a scary axe, friends. I wonder how this handle's gonna hold out. I like it. I really like it. I custom kind of put some uh, put some lady bends in her. I just I like that. Maybe a little bit more there. I might even I might do it a little more, friends. I like it. Okay, let's cut this off. Okay, well I got it. I'm, I'm taking her. What are you doing? That's oak, friends. You can tell. Look it. See the characteristics? It's oak. <laughs> friends, this has been such a funny thing. I'm going to jump ahead, friends, on this because I, I, I don't stop. I make the bloody thing. I remember back in the video I said I was going to go in and then I just suck it up and I and I fix it. But I am going to jump ahead. You've seen me do a thousand of these axes. This was this was interesting, this one. I'll show a little bit of it here and there, but I, I want to jump through now to... Uh, kind of a finished product because i got some other stuff for you over and out skis okay all right hey listen friends hey thanks to the to the folks that are uh inquiring about axes we're as you guys all know we're slowing down a little bit on the axe sales uh because i got some i got some traveling to do we got some trees to cut some some firewood to chop and split we got some uh power saws to file do little hands-on Maybe come right to your house, teach you how to file a power saw right at your house. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Rock a chaka chaka, rock a chuka lock a chaka chaka. That's what I'm saying. Now listen, you guys, you haven't seen it yet. Remember when I broke that double bit axe when I was beating up that big old Arbutus tree out in Yellow Point just down yonder? This thing is the best chopper. It just is. Yeah, you remember the one. It was a freaking beautiful act. Hogan loved it. Now, I don't know whether... I, I would reckon somebody at some... Yeah, they did. They did. I did a little... Oh, my goodness gracious. Friends. I got some on video. I've got some built, but I was in a kind of a funny space. I wanted the axe done and built. Friends. You know when you build something and you come back later to it and you're like... Damn, I done a nice job of that. You know, because when you're in it, it's getting late and dark and it's raining and the fire's out and you want to get in and see your wife and, and, and have a cup of coffee and relax. You know, I was at that stage. Um, this is an oak handle. Now, I'm not sure. Hey, um, Mr. Blanchard, did you send me an oak handle a long time ago? Kind of squared off. Do you remember that at all? So, so what I'm saying, friends, is this axe, I've chopped a few trees down. It's wicked sharp. It, it removes wood. Well, you saw in that Arbutus video, friends, okay? You saw it. Um, 
it, it, I don't know, well, I do know why. I, I do know darn well why. And I'll show you why. It, I, I don't know if it'll stay focused. It may not. It may not. See if when we turn it sideways, we'll probably lose it. We're losing it now, I think. Look at how sharp it is, friends. Like I mean, the 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 profile on this thing is El Nutsoid. Anyway, it just there it is. Why did it focus on that? That's crazy. <laughs> It's actually this side that's the sharpest. Look at it, friends. There we go. Look at freaking that. It, It's just a cutter. It's a freaking cutter. So anyways, long and the short, I'm going off on a tangent. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, friends. Um, I can't wait. That's all I'm telling you. I can't wait. Uh, we got a tree to, to, to cut down. In, in yellow point it's a big huge it's it's a it's a big snag i'm just feeling this out i may i may tailor that i may not that's nice down here very nice down here and the hand goes over top of that i put a little bit of a little bit of lady love in this handle lady love see wide and then a bit of hourglassing and then wide a little bit more there and then back down just for strength friends for strength that's all you just want to have pieces of strength here and there. That's a susceptible area sometimes. So so I just, you know, just an hourglass kind of, a little fatter there. So we'll see how it goes. It's nice on the handle. I'm going to put a little palm stop with some tape. I, I just, I like having that on this because it's it's oak. Oh dear. So that's done. I'm, I'm excited about it. Very excited about it. Now, um, Mark French, brother. <laughs> This thing's wicked, okay? I'm gonna actually pack it up and mail it with today's orders. I better text you back and get your get your freaking address, buddy. Okay, here's the deal. Now, I don't know if I can say it. Oh gosh, I'm afraid to say names. I am, I'm honestly afraid to say names. We got four axes going out today, okay? Four, and they're going right now. Now, what else we got on the go is we got Freddy two ax. You're coming up this week. You'll be out the door this week. Um, I'm afraid to say names because there's anniversary axes. There's birthday axes. I don't want to say. I'm moving axes. Just, just, let's just put it that way. But there's two men that bought two axes. Adam, you're coming up, brother, this week. And Freddy Double Axe. Freddy Two Axe. I love it. He says he's never been called Freddy Two Axe before. Bill. Billy Boy. You got to talk to. You probably already emailed me back. Because I, I don't re recall another head that's come from you, except for that. Let me know. Uh, oh, another thing we're going to do for a man named, it's cold in here, for a man, a man named Bo, Bo, Bo Bishop, we're going to do a little, he wants to, he, he, he tells me he was having a little struggle with uh, chain tension, a 20 inch bar uh, on a Samari bar he was running, don't matter which bar he running, but. Uh, he said he was having a little trouble with maybe stretching or or just, just chain tension alone. I'm going to show you guys what I do for chain tension. I've showed it before. It'll be coming up. How about right now? Let's do it. Let's go there. All right. How's everybody tonight? Is that hot? No. Well, it is a little hot. You know, it's just going to make you cut faster and it's going to go a little easier on the clutch. The You know, the drive sprockets. The tip of the bar, oil, everything. It's just going to go a little bit easier. I'm not talking sloop and slagging, but a teeny, like I would run this, I'd run this for a long time, yeah. Go well, like this and you'll see what happens. Friends, we're going to go over this in the next video. Uh, I just wanted to get through this one little axe video here first, and then we'll punch back into this. Um, this, is, this is a great video. I, I talk strictly about different cutting scenarios, slash and buck and firewood falling, and tensions to use in those activities. All right, so we'll get back to this axe stuff, and we'll pull this one up on the chain tension probably tomorrow. Over and out, friends. Love you all. I'm tightening up my chains with my power sauce. This is my procedure. I've been doing it for freaking 25 years. This is how I was taught. Man, 
not stopping. It's not stopping. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Rip roaring, blowing sideways, freaking rain. <laughs> It's, it's, it's so sharp, like, I want to use this axe so bad right now. You, you guys, guys, women and children, trust me. I just want to, I'm just wondering if there's something I can get at. Um, let's see if I can just get us right in there somewhere. This thing's killer. Man, oh man. So, I, here's the, whoa. Here's the, um, one of those things about go with your gut. You know when you're doing something like, like take this video for instance, friends. I'm freaking making the ax, I'm going along. And I got this 28 inch channel. You saw it in the beginning of the video, it's beautiful. Beautiful 28, and 28's fine, it's, it's fine. But friends, you lose power, you lose swing, you lose rock in the sock, you lose it. Friends, this ax is, don't, it's 32 inches, actually, it's 31 and a quarter, friends. This is exactly the same size as the one I broke within half inch. This is the ax we broke, okay? When I, was, when I was smacking that tree up, I showed a little burb in the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it is snot out. Friends, I'm so glad I listened to my gut. You, do you hear me trying to talk myself out of it in the video? Because I wanted to build the ax. I wanted to get the ax back into circulation so I could freaking go cut down a big dead scary balsam at Brian's place. It's big, it's tall, it's about a buck 25, and I'm gonna undermine the tree. It's straight up, it's difficult to find a lean there. 
<coughs> excuse me, I have a, a, a little way of, you know, because to wedge a tree you're chopping over kind of changes a little bit. There's ways of doing it. There's all kinds of ways of doing it. But um, you just undermine it. Just keep chopping. Chop, 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 chop a great big huge undercut in it and just hit it in the back and it'll go over, right? Friends, thanks for watching my videos with me lately. We've just been plagued by this weather. Oh man, this is gorgeous. I'm glad I went looking for that handle. It's sweet. Man, oh man. Anyway, friends, over and out. Catch you on the next video. I got that hand filing. Uh, chain tension video coming up for Bo Bishop. Bo, I know you emailed me. You had some other questions. It's kind of difficult when a guy, when I don't know what a guy does, do you know what I mean? Like there's, everybody runs saw a little differently. So if you're digging your dogs in and, and pulling up on it and trying to get it to, with a full house chain, you got not much chip is escaping so you can load up. There's all kinds of little variables. So I couldn't really answer those questions for you. Unless I see you cotton, then I can help you. So anyway, friends, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Be kind, friends. This damn rain. Wind and rain. You can hear it pounding on the roof. Relentlessly pounding down. And I wonder, when will it stop? You know, when will the rain stop? Stop the rain, stop the rain, rain, rain don't stop.